Welcome to this exciting video where we explore the differences between the North Pole and the South Pole. At first glance, you might think that the poles are identical, after all, they are both located at opposite ends of the Earth, right? However, as we'll discover, there are many differences that make these two polar regions completely unique. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. Firstly, let's talk about geography. The North Pole is located in the Arctic Ocean and is surrounded by landmasses like Canada, Greenland, and Russia. On the other hand, the South Pole is located on the continent of Antarctica and is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. This geographic difference makes a big impact on the climate, wildlife, and overall experience of visiting each pole. Speaking of climate, the North Pole and South Pole have vastly different weather patterns. The North Pole experiences an Arctic climate, which is characterized by long, dark winters and short, cool summers. Meanwhile, the South Pole experiences an Antarctic climate, which is known for its extremely cold temperatures and high winds. In fact, the coldest temperature ever recorded was at the South Pole, where it dropped to a staggering minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. Another major difference between the North and South Poles is the wildlife that calls each place home. The North Pole is home to animals like polar bears, Arctic foxes, and walruses. These animals have adapted to the harsh climate by growing thick fur and blubber to keep warm. Meanwhile, the South Pole is home to animals like penguins, seals, and whales, which have adapted to the icy conditions by developing flippers and streamlined bodies to help them swim and survive in the water. That perhaps the biggest difference between the North and South Poles is the human experience of visiting each place. The North Pole is relatively accessible and can be reached by ship, plane, or even on foot, if you're brave enough. In contrast, the South Pole is extremely remote and can only be reached by a challenging journey by plane or ship, followed by an arduous trek across the frozen terrain. As a result, visiting the South Pole is a once-in-a-lifetime experience that only a select few get to enjoy. Finally, Let's talk about some of the fascinating stories and discoveries that have come out of the Poles. The North Pole has a rich history of exploration, with famous names like Robert Perry and Roald Amundsen being among the first to reach this remote location. Meanwhile, the South Pole is where the heroic explorers of the early 20th century like Ernest Shackleton and Robert Scott ventured to in order to discover the secrets of the continent. Both Poles have been the site of scientific research for many years, and continue to reveal new discoveries about our planet and the universe beyond. In conclusion, the North Pole and South Pole might appear to be identical at first glance, but as we've discovered, they are vastly different in terms of geography, climate, wildlife, accessibility, and human experience. Whether you're an intrepid explorer, a wildlife enthusiast, or a lover of history and science, there's something to discover at both of these polar regions. So why not start planning your own polar adventure today? That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you.